it's Sherry from A Quilting Life and I'm here today to share two new favorite things quilts that I've made. Uh, one is actually a new pattern and the other one is an older pattern that I've updated. And so since they both can be made with a layer cake, I thought it would work really well to share both of them with you today. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what I have here is the hometown quilt made with our favorite things fabric. And this is actually the small quilt, which is 50 and a quarter inches by 63 inches. And this is a pattern that I've had for a little while and I've loved it. it. It's a terrific layer cake quilt. And I love how it really does show off all of the prints in the layer cake because you use some, you know, you use the layer cakes for backings and for the stars throughout. So you really, really get a good look at it. But I've always wanted to make this quilt bigger. And so when I went to redo the pattern, I also made a large version that is 63 inches by 75 and a half inches. And so that's ideal for people who love this pattern, but were wanting to make it a little bit bigger so they could use it on a bed. And that one is actually a fat quarter friendly quilt. So you have two options with Hometown. You can do the, the smaller quilt, the layer cake version, or go ahead and make the larger version. But I, I had finished making all of the Favorite Things quilts and I just knew that this would be one more quilt that I really wanted to make to uh, show off these fabrics. So I'm just gonna show you some fun things. I use this snowflake multi-print for the setting triangles. It added a bit of interest without being really overwhelming. And then I use the gray for the inner border and the green snowflake for the outer border with the green stripe, stripe binding. And then again, this leaf print that just kind of looks like holly <laughs> with berries to me for the backing was, was a really fun addition too. And this quilt was quilted by Marion Bott, who did a fun all over swirl kind of pattern on it that just kind of adds to the whole Christmas vibe for the pattern. But you can see from the pattern cover, when I redid the pattern, I actually did it in our Emma fabrics. And this is the larger quilt on the cover that showed up. So you can see how it really just really works well with any type of collection that you're using that you want to show off all of the prints and colors in the collection. So just really, really have loved working with this quilt and hope that you'll enjoy making it too. Okay, so this is the Candy Boxes, a layer cake quilt. It, it goes together super quickly. I had a lot of fun figuring out that yes, I could make this quilt with a layer cake, uh, you do need a couple of extra light pieces of fabric. I use the white in every other block for my little inner sashing. And so I added into the pattern so that you could do it that way. But you, you will need two uh, light prints to do all of these light that are extra from your layer cake. So two extra half yards of light block accent prints and you'll be good to go along with your layer cake because the layer cake can be cut up to make the squares and the outer block borders. Now you could also, this is just such a great scrap quilt, you could also take a charm pack and use a charm pack to make all the inner four patches for your blocks and then use scraps or honey bun strips, but you would still need that extra yardage for that. Just a really, really fun pattern. I had fun mixing and matching for the borders on this one. I used the light print with the green leaves and the red berries for my inner border and this red floral for the outer. And then I was really surprised, but I love how the, the multicolor stripe looked on this red fabric for the binding. And then green, larger green floral with the white 
for the back and I love how the, the binding goes along with this. Now if this looks familiar to you, it's because I actually have a little table runner pattern in my shop with the same block. This is a little scrap project that I've had that you've probably seen. I've made it in a few different fabrics and it actually was the inspiration for this layer cake quilt. So just wanted to point out I had to make a table run. I made a few table runners with this collection and, and this was one of them. But just really a great, this can be your go-to pattern when you need a gift or a small quilt. This size of this candy boxes quilt with a layer cake is perfect for a baby quilt or just something that you want to gift, uh, not too big, not too small, and just really hope you will enjoy making this. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit more about the candy boxes quilt and also the new hometown quilt that I made, the smaller version. And both of the patterns are available now in paper and PDF in the shop. If you enjoyed today's video, please share it with a friend, hit the like button, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for stopping by.